Hey guys, it's Mustafa with Mtech, and today we're going to be checking out the coolest Game Boy Advance you've probably ever seen. Okay, so if any of you have ever owned a Game Boy Advance, you probably know that one of its biggest drawbacks is that it has a TFT color display, but that display isn't backlit or frontlit or anything so you'd have to use your surrounding light to be able to see whatever's on the screen which is really annoying and really caught nintendo a lot of flack when this first came out because everybody wanted a backlight screen to be able to see what they were playing so i thought okay well there must be a certain mod where you can modify the game boy advance to put in the backlit display and surely there is there's a lot and so this is the result. Alright, so I modded my original Game Boy Advance to put in a color display and it looks awesome. Honestly, every game that you play into it looks way better than it did before. But why would you do this when the Game Boy Advance SP is already out with a backlit display? Why wouldn't you just get one of those? Well, a lot of people like the form factor of the Game Boy Advance. The way it's shaped, the way the buttons feel, and everything compared to the Game Boy Advance SP or even later Nintendo systems. I gotta tell you, this looks really cool and really punches out every game that you play and makes it a lot better. I honestly do like the form factor of the Game Boy Advance better and that's why I wanted to really change it up and put in this backlit display and it looks really great. Now you might be wondering, it might be a little too difficult for you to do, but I don't think so. I think many people could be able to do this if they have the right tools and the right knowledge. Essentially what I did to my Game Boy Advance is I did really two modifications. One was the case replacement which uh, I took the old purple grimy old looking case that I had originally it looks kind of stale at this point so I changed it out with a clear bright purple case that I bought online on Amazon I'll link that in the description down below where you can get it and that's a pretty simple modification of changing the case and buttons out uh, it gives you a kit where it gives you all the tools you need to replace everything take apart everything and it's really simple it's not really that difficult to take out some screws in the motherboard and put everything in a new housing there are many tutorials on YouTube, so I won't be going through the process, but you can probably find a good video to watch in order to do that, and it's pretty simple. Now, the backlight modification was a bit more difficult since it requires you to have a soldering iron and actually be able to solder uh, one wire onto the motherboard. I already had a soldering iron laying around and some soldering experience, so it wasn't too difficult, and I don't think it's really difficult at all if you do it yourself and you've never really soldered at all. It's honestly just taking it and putting it on the motherboard and you know. Again, there's tutorials for this online on YouTube that you can watch, very simple. But I will be linking down below where you can actually get these displays. And I'll also be linking a useful guide that you can use in order to do the backlight modification. It's really helpful, it tells you all the tools you need and goes through step by step what you need to do. And so one thing you gotta keep in mind is when you do take apart your Game Boy Advance and put in this new display, it's not a native display to the Game Boy Advance. So you'll have to make a modification to the actual case itself. There is a little notch that lines up the original screen to the display which you have to get rid of in order to fit the new display which is slightly larger. And so what I did was take a razor blade or you can really use any sort of sharp blade in order to shave off some of the plastic pieces to make the new display fit. To be honest that was probably one of the hardest parts because shaving plastic, hard plastic off is not really easy even with a sharp knife. Well, at least with the knife that I was using. One other modification that I would suggest is picking up a glass screen online. It's pretty easy to find. And the thing is, if you know or have had a Game Boy Advance, you know that it has a plastic screen. And if you've kept the original plastic screen, you probably have many, many, many scratches on it. So I'd suggest replacing it with a glass screen. Much more durable, much more scratch resistant. Just makes it feel all around better. And so that's that. It's a great gaming little device. It's even better with this new display and I think it's the coolest Game Boy Advance you could ever really make yourself. And I'd suggest anyone with a Game Boy Advance or anyone that wants to get one do this modification because it's really great. Alright so all the tools or anything that you need to know about how to do this modification will be in the description down below. Uh, please like the video if you like this. Tell me in the comments if you actually have a Game Boy Advance and would be willing to do this modification and also subscribe if you like the video. Alright, see ya.